All right, so uh, Brother Beckham, now I know that uh, uh, you're, you're, well, can you just tell us like where you grew up at, maybe just a little bit um, about your background? I mean, one thing I didn't tell uh, the group is that, you know, he's raised on uh, Chicago South Side. Um, he's got a little brother that's extremely successful as well. So I, I really, uh, the reason we have him here is because we've always um, respected the way he moved. Um, and I mean, you know, in the professional arena and outside the professional arena. And so um, I just think he has some jewels and some insight uh, that could be helpful. And again, you all know this is a thought experiment. Um, we want to show uh, people from Chicago in a different light um, because all of us, you know, we, all of us don't, you know, shoot at each other. So, um, so that's where we're at. So, uh, uh, Brother Beckham, can you give a uh, like a background of like you know um, maybe your grade school or or were you public school education and you know like that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, uh, as uh, my ship said, Tory Wordsmith. Uh, obviously, I've known you brothers for thirty plus years, and uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, I love what you're doing here. I love the platform. Yep. Shout out, yo, Greater Beta. Um, I really, really uh, appreciate the opportunity to, to talk to you guys today. Uh, you know, in regards to my background, you know, uh, I am uh, born and raised on the south side of Chicago. I was born at the uh, University of Chicago uh, many years ago. Uh, I started uh, elementary school on the west side of Chicago. A lot of people don't know that, but I went to uh, William H. Brown, uh, which is the uh, elementary school across the street from the uh, old Chicago Stadium. So it, it's still over there. It's right across the street from the United Center. Yeah. So that's where I started elementary school. And then from there, you probably didn't know that. Uh, no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Yeah, you, know, so I, you know, I got some West Side in me, man. So, but go yeah, ahead, bro. Yeah, go yeah, go. I remember that. Uh, yeah. and, then, uh, and then I went to uh, Avalon Park, uh, which is right off of 79th Street, uh, 79th, 78th and Kenwood. Um, and then from there, I went to uh, St. Felicitas uh, Catholic School in Marynook, uh, located on 83rd and Blackstone. So uh, that's where I finished up my elementary school. From there, I went back to a public school. You know, went to Limbloom uh, in the mid to late 80s. And, well, hold, uh, hold, hold, hold it right there, bro. So, so, but you said South Side. So can you give a little, you know, because the South Side, you know how that is, you know, you you could grow up in Hyde Park and, you know, be on the South side. You can grow up, you know, here and there, but yeah, yeah. specifically uh, how far South were you and, and what area, what, what neighborhood would you call that? Yeah, I grew up in Grove Heights. So Grove Heights, uh, 98th and Woodline. So that's bordered by uh, 95th street, 10 tray, 103rd, 93rd, uh, play ball at uh, Gately on 103rd and Cottage Grove over near the football stadium, uh, baseball stadiums over there. My actual house is uh, right, my neighborhood is where the uh, old Big J's potato chip sign was. That's okay. my neighborhood. And over the expressway is Olive Harvey. So um, yeah, that gives uh, how, you a feel how, across so, so, from London Town. But how were things, you know, uh, growing up from your memory at that time in that area in Chicago? So, so just for you guys to know, you know, we're talking like 70s, you know, around that time. 80s. Uh, what was it like um, in in that area? Like, how did you feel growing up? Did you have a sense that, you know, I got to get out of here? Or did you have a sense that this is great? You know, give me some of that uh, background. Yeah, you know, I, I grew up in a, uh, I would call it a middle class uh, neighborhood. Uh, I think uh, there was a good sense of uh, community. Uh, there was, uh, you know, I, I think the biggest dangers back then came with fighting, you know, being in the wrong area at the wrong time. We had gang activity in our neighborhood. Uh, wasn't too, too bad, but we had it, no doubt, both factions. And uh, there was also gang activity in Jeffrey Manor, which sits off for me. Uh, and I mean, just for, for gang talk, I mean, th those were GDs, those were folks in Jeffrey Manor. We had a little bit of Four Corner Hustlers in my neighborhood as well as uh, GDs. And then in Burnside, we had, you know, Four Corner Hustlers. And then in London Town, uh, you have four CHs as well, for the most part. Um, but How there were plenty of pl plenty of GDs on the on the tray on 103rd. So you had a little bit of mix. Again, uh, I would call it middle class. It wasn't as bad as where I went to high school 
where it was going mm-hmm. down. That was in Inglewood. I went to school in Inglewood, but up there, that was always there. Now, what we had to offset it was a lot of athletics. So, okay. uh, you know, again, my, my primary sport was uh, baseball in terms of organized, but we played plenty of football. And one of the things that I did as a youngster in my neighborhood, and I'd be well known in my neighborhood, is that I had leagues of football teams based on blocks. So uh, 98th and Ingleside, you brothers may know uh, my, my son, Sean Haynes, Tori, you know Sean. Yeah, Sean yeah, yeah. Play. Yo. Nine, yep, yo. 98th and Ingleside, we had 96th and Dobson, we had 98th and University, 98th and Avalon. You get the picture, 97th and Woodline. So all throughout our neighborhood, we had athletics, and that always kind of helped to bridge the gap. Uh, but did you say you were organizing that, or you, you, you were part of that? Now, now, I was organizing that. In addition to that, I also uh, ran a lot of three-on-threes in my yard. So my dad, when I was a kid, uh, that's why KB is better at hoop than me, perhaps. <laughs> he was younger. But, uh, perhaps. When we, hey, that's KB had a handle, boy. Hey, yo, yo, KB. Boy, KB Brother, got a pat. Y'all know. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, again, to offset and just to kind of keep that sense of community, my dad... Uh, many years ago, created a, uh, a basketball court in my backyard. And I know both you brothers have been there, you know, 25, yeah. 30 years ago. It was all Got concrete. And because it was all concrete, we could go hard with three on threes. So some of my guys that played basketball with Tori, uh, you know, my boy, Dewan Rose, who hooped at Xavier, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, younger than Tori. Uh, top 50 in the country by the time he was a senior, you know, he would bring guys from Leo and my buddies from CVS and Hyde Park and Limbloom. Yeah. We'd all bring three on threes, Whitney Young. So guys would come back there and we would play, uh, you know, nice rock and sock and three on three. Right, right. Uh, in your backyard. For many years, for many years. Uh-huh. So all of that kind of helped to uh, bring about a nice sense of community in that particular neighborhood. So, um, I would, I would say our neighborhood was a good, solid upbringing. We had some issues, uh, you know, with violence, but not much. Now, now I know, I don't mean to cut your, your background off, but you were getting into, now we're moving to high school, because I know with Limbloom, well, just with, and, and, and just coming up in those times, um, for people who probably don't know, you know, like you might go to one school and, and you got to catch the bus. And so, um, it's my understanding just from hearing, hearing the Limbloom, um, stories. Uh, yeah. When we got to U of I, uh, so was there a lot of like, was there, was there a thing about the Harper people like taking stuff from you or, or on the bus? <laughs> Not from you per se. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, what's funny is, uh, and as you, as you, as you, uh, brothers know, Chicago, uh, and, and that time and, and probably even still, there were really uh, only so many select high schools that you could go to um, that were really uh, rigorous from an academic uh, perspective. You know, one of them being Whitney Young, Michelle Obama's uh, alma mater. Another Kim one, Wood. obviously, Limbloom, Kenwood. Yeah. So, so because of that, um, you know, we would come from long distances to go to Limbloom. It was a good education, but it was in the heart of Inglewood. So, uh, and, and I'll make this quick. A guy like me will walk three blocks and then catch the bus on 95th Street. I would take it from 95th and Woodline to the terminal, which is 95th, you know, in Michigan, 95th and State. Um, a lot of gang activity there, obviously. And then I would catch the train from, and this is every day, to and from, from 95th and the Dan Ryan to 63rd. And the Dan Ryan. 95th, 95th and the Dan Ryan, for those who don't know, it's not what it is today. 95th and the Dan Ryan, boy, it was a crapshoot when you got up there. That was like a hub for every gang member in the city. But go, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a major hub. It, you know, it was like like was. like flying business and, and, and you're at O'Hare and you're seeing, you know, people. But, but yeah. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Yeah, no, no, it was. So we catch the A train. You had to catch the A train from 95th and the Dan Ryan down to 63rd and the Dan Ryan. And Ooh. where that led off was an even worse kind of a thing because you had uh, heavy gang activity at 63rd and the Dan Ryan, and that let you off at a, at a rival high school. <laughs> so Inglewood High School is located basically at the 63rd and the Dan Ryan. So 
from there, you would catch either the 63rd Street bus, which was going to be an issue, or you would catch the, the high L. So the high L will stop over there as well. So you could kind of jump the high L and take the high L to 63rd and Ashland. Could do that, but then you had to walk a mile from 63rd and <laughs> Ashland to Walcott, and, which and, was right and, off the dam. And I'm sure um, some of those guys knew, knew, knew you guys were doing that probably too. So it was still risky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was risky. So, so to answer your question, um, there were there were always issues with Inglewood because again, okay. that's a rival high school. You have one whole high school catching a bus and getting off a bus in front of another high school. Right. That that mix is uh, devastating. And, and then you got uh, the, and you got these guys clean and wearing clean shoes and clean. I mean, let's keep it one hundred. Well, you, I'll say it. You know, you got these guys. I'm not, you know, knocking the people from Inglewood, but it just was what it, I mean, it just was yeah. what it was. You got these guys and these girls, and then you got these guys, and it was a, you know, it was a. Yeah. Yeah, it was you know? combustion. Yeah, it was always so how, combustion. How, there was some how talk you, from there was some talk from some older brothers that, that you know we know that from Lim Bloom, and they talked about donating having to donate some of their uh, belongings from time to time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring extra stuff just to, you know. You know what I mean? It. And I was like, uh, yeah, I don't really see JB doing that. Did, you right. know? No, no, that never, that never happened. So, that did.